Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting because I'm sharing with you my haul of everything I got from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is at Universal Studios Florida. To celebrate, I have some sparkling juice. Well, as I was saying in a few of my videos, we stayed at a resort that is on site, to, which means it is very expensive. It's a lot more expensive than regular hotels. The price I spent was about $1,300 for three days, but the reason why I did that is because we got express passes for the theme park. Now, for the theme parks, which is Universal Studios Island of Adventure, both theme parks that makes up the whole Universal Studios Orlando theme park, which is so amazing. And the express tickets are basically so you every single ride except for three, two or three, I think there's two rides that you cannot skip the line. So that's basically it. You get to skip all the lines and go on the express lane instead of waiting the 50 minute to two hour wait limits for all the other rides, which is a great deal. Honestly, if you're going to stay there for one day or two days or even more, it's honestly the best deal because I have been there from the last three years that I've been going to Universal. I did not pay extra for express tickets and I have regretted it every single time because the wait lines were, were just so long and you literally need all day or at least two days to ride every single ride and enjoy the park instead of rushing. That's what I did so that when you stay at a premier hotel, you get the express passes for free. So in that percentage of how much you pay is the price for your express tickets. Mine was a little more expensive because I had four people. So that's just what it is. Anyways, this is what I first got. I finally got my Hufflepuff lanyard. It took me a long time. I was really in denial about being a Hufflepuff, but now I love it. So now I have this lanyard in it. And then I have my Harry Wizarding World of Harry Potter ID carry-in case. I love this thing. I've had this for two years now, and it's really great. You honestly need one of these to carry your passes all day anyway, so you might as well buy one of these at the park. Um, and these are our express passes. So they just look like this. They're really cute, honestly. Mine is The Simpsons, but it's in my purse. <laughs> I haven't taken it out. This is what they look like and they're really cool. So they just scan it when you go through the lines. This is my parking pass for the hotel. And yeah, so I will put this back in my Harry Potter backpack. So I have it for next year when I go. Um, but yeah, that's really amazing. Okay, so I don't even know. Let's just go. So the first day, I am uploading a vlog. I will upload the vlog, but it's honestly so boring. I was editing it yesterday and... <laughs> It's literally just me eating a bunch of food, so I still might upload it, but I just you might want to skip it. Whatever. I don't know. So this is the first bag. Very cute. A sweater that I got. It says Universal Studios Florida. I love it. I got it in a size large, and it's a hoodie. Honestly, they don't have really cute hoodies for us. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really sad to see honestly because I want a really cute hoodie to wear but this was like basic enough so I was like I'll get it I got it in a size of large so it will be oversized for me and I just love that I'm so excited I have been searching through the whole park on the second day because I missed out on it on the first day and I finally got it it's the night bus keychain look how cute I love Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and I just freaking, I love, I just love the night bus. I love that scene when it comes on and this was $15. So very cute. Next, where did I get this? Okay. So next is this really cute Wizarding World of Harry Potter bag. I love it so much. I'm going to put this in my car. I got two more keychains. So this is a Hufflepuff keychain, a bunch of Hufflepuff charms. There's my flag and our animal. We are a badger, which is really weird. <laughs> and then just like a little keychain. So really cute. I cannot wait to put that on my keys. And then this one is so cute. This is the Harry Potter. I don't know what it's called, but like he moves. can't really tell 
but it's really cool. So I got this as well. And then also in this bag, it's downstairs, but I did get the Universal Studios coffee mug. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. And it's just downstairs because I already put it in my cupboard to keep it safe. In the second bag, I finally got my house scarf. It took me so long to buy it. It's literally $40, but I love it. Like, I've been wearing it for the last few days at home because I'm just at home and relaxing. We have all been sick lately, so I've just been wearing this on the couch, and I just love it. So, there's that. I highly recommend you guys get their scarf as, like, your number one or, like, first item from Harry Potter if you go to Universal because you just have them forever. So next I have my resort mug. This is a Royal Pacific resort mug and it's refillable. So every time you go to the hotel, you can pay to have it be refilled, which is like $10 for the day, I think. And then like $16 the whole trip. So it is worth it in the long run, but I just put ice water in it. So I didn't have to charge to have ice water. Next, I got Harry Potter's wand. I'm so excited. I now have my Harry Potter collection is complete, honestly, in my opinion, because now I have all three of theirs. I have Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Why is this not opening? Okay, this is the interactive. I literally just did not want to wait in line, so I just grabbed the first Harry Potter wand that I saw at Ollivander's and ran to the checkout. So I should have got the um, regular one, but it is what it is. It was very crowded. Um, so this is Harry's wand. Like, look how cute. This is what it looks like. It honestly feels so weird. Like, <laughs> I love it, so... Now I can take this out and put it on my bookshelf for all its glory. And then this is the interactive map. So whenever you get the, your interactive wand, you um, get this map with it and it shows you all the places to do the spells at Hogsmeade and at Diagon Alley. So that's really cool. It shows you like exactly how to do the spells and what spots they're in. And it's just a fun time. And that is how most people stay in Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley li literally all day because there are so many spots to do these spells and it's so cool to unlock whatever the spell does. So I love that part. I unfortunately didn't do any of them just because the people that I'm with, I felt like they didn't want to stand and watch me do that. So I just didn't want to bother them and do that. Plus there were a bunch of kids. So I just let them have fun and watch them. Okay, so next is, did I really buy two of the same keychains? Wow, I really bought two of the same keychains. That is funny. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I bought a Hufflepuff headband. It is so cute. I'm literally going to be Hufflepuffed um, next Halloween. So that's, and I get to wear this whenever I want. So I'm really excited. I got a Universal Studios Florida shirt and I got it in a size large because it will shrink. So I just like them to be baggy on me. Um, yeah, and it's really cute. All right. Are you ready for my final piece? <laughs> I bought my house gown and okay sorry guys i had to go take care of a few things in town but i'm back okay so like i was saying the last and biggest item i got is my house robe i cannot believe it i got my house robe i did not think i would get it honestly like i was just thinking to telling myself like i'll get it next time i don't really need it this trip but i got back to my resort and they had a universal store and so i went in there and they had the house robes so i picked it up at my resort because I just did not want to buy it at the theme park just because I did not want to have the burden of carrying this. So I'm really happy that the resort that I stayed at had this and this is why I picked it up. So it is my house which is Hufflepuff. It's black on the outside, yellow like a mustard yellow on the inside and on the inside of your left, where is it? Is it left? Is a packet for your wand. I don't know if you can see. It's really hidden. It's right here. And it is so sweet. Obviously, I'm not going to wear this all the time. But one of these days, whenever I go back to the theme park, I will bring this and probably wear it. So, all right, guys, that's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've been to Universal. If you love Harry Potter or what Harry Potter item you have that you love, I would love to know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,